Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I want to show you how to make some cool HDR in 2017. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Romani. I'm a French photographer living in Los Angeles, and I just came back from Yosemite. Also, great news, Aurora HDR is coming out for Windows. Yes, believe it or not. If you want to be the first one to be notified and get the best deal, there is a link below this video where you can just put your email and you will be the first one to know about it. All right, this is really good news. So many people have been writing me for Aurora HDR in a Windows version. Well, guys, they've heard you and it's coming out. So I want to show you two ways of making HDR. Plus, I'm coming out with a new course called HDR Quick Start. I'm going to show you all this right now. All right, guys, I want to show you a cool trick. I just came back from Yosemite and, uh, and the tunnel view, and I got a great shot. The, the, the problem with the tunnel view, it's a very classic shot of Yosemite, and it, the problem with it is that it's facing est, east, so you never have a sunset. But I got lucky that day because you can't really see it on the raw file, but there was a little bit of pink coming from the sunset. So... You know, this is an iconic shot. When, when I do such a shot, first of all, I always bracket the shot. I take three photos. And then I try two things. The first thing that I do is I'm going to take all three. I'm going to right-click, export into Aurora HDR 2017. And I'm going to use the open original image option, which is going to open the raw file. It opens this window. I'm just going to click on alignment and click on create HDR. All right, so here I am in Aurora HDR, and I like to work fast in Aurora HDR, and I use my own presets, which are in the software. So all you have to do is click here, you got all the basic preset, and you jump into Surge Remedy preset. It's in the software. In this, in this one, you know, I'm crazy about magenta, so I want to give it, as a basic look, I want to give it the photo surge sunset look. So I'm going to click one time, and that's going to do a lot of processing for it and give it like a magenta look that I love. Uh, on this one, I think I want to open up a little bit the shadows. I think it's maybe not that much because it's a very powerful slider. And when I go for the HDR look with Aurora, I go for the HDR look with Aurora. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer, adjustment layer. And on this one, I'm going to click here on Photo Surge Local Details. Now, Photo Surge Local Details is going to give details everywhere. Crazy. I don't want that. So I'm going to take a brush. And on that layer, I'm just going to brush a little bit of details just on El Capitan and on a bright veil foal. Just a little bit of details here. Okay? So check it out. Here is a layer. And on that layer, all we had was a Photo Surge Local Details. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it on. You see how it brings a lot of details there? Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer here. And I want to make the sky more diffuse. So I'm going to go to the Photo Surge Clouds effect. And that's going to diffuse the entire photo. But I only want the effect on the sky. So I got my brush and I'm just going to brush in. Now you understand why I love Aurora HDR. Because you can really tone map your photo layers by layers. Check it out. That's the before and that's the after. It's already pretty crazy, but it's not over yet. I'm going to apply this, and it's going to return the photo back into Lightroom. Back in Lightroom, and here is the photo. That's the HDR. I mean, it's already a lot different from the original. And, you know, it, it's not supernatural. It's not crazy HDR, but, you know, you can tell some effect has been done onto it. So, but I'm not finished. I'm going to make it even more crazy. I'm going to open up some shadows a little bit. Bring down the blacks, you know. To, I go very light at this point because it's already in process. Maybe add a bit of contrast. Uh, I think I want to, you know, make the sky a little darker. Uh, I'm going to go to exposure. I always do a little bit of a double development. I want drama. I want this to be dramatic. Okay, maybe boost a little bit the exposure. And voila. So that's one look. And I love it. I mean... I love it. Now I'm going to go for a lot more natural look using the HDR option in Lightroom. So I'm going to take the same three wall file. But this time I'm going to select all three. I'm going to right click Photo Merge HDR. And usually what I do is I always click Auto Align and I'll, I'll always make sure that deghosting amount is on high and, and to show any deghosting overlay. What that is basically is, you know, when you have a bit of wind and you're taking three shots, one photo to the other, the, the leaf are going to be not exactly at the same place, and it can make like what we call a ghosting effect. So when you do a, a deghosting effect, what the software is going to do is take 
the faster shutter speed, where the where the leaf are the most sharp, which is usually the under underexposed photo, and if there is any pixel which is different from one to the other, it's going to take this one. Now, you can see on this one, there was not much wind because show deghost overlay should show in red any deghosting and it's not showing anything. So when, it, when it's like this, I just go to noun because it's you know not needed and I'm going to click on merge and that's going to create a RAW file that's uh, an HDR, okay? Now, at this point, usually what I do for speed is I use some of my preset to retouch the photo, uh, which is my natural preset. So the photo is here, that's the HDR version. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into my uh, signature preset and I'm gonna go, and you have a link for the signature preset below of this video if you wanna purchase them. Uh, and there is also a video where you can get some of it for free. This is a sunset one, so I guess I'm gonna go to just sunset linear circle. I think that's good enough. Or maybe this one, sunset linear circle. Like you can see up here, the the preview but i have to be on the mouse i'm going to click on on this one and it's going to do all the basic retouching for me um just give it a second boom uh this one is way too magenta so if you know my signature preset uh you know that i use radial circles so i have one here this one i'm just going to erase i don't need extra magenta okay and uh so overall the preset is going to give a much more much more organic natural look uh, than the HDR. Let me show them to you compare. So it's two HDR. I'm going to press C to compare them and um, Shift Tab to go full screen. So on my left, you have the HDR from Lightroom, and on my right, you've got the HDR from Aurora. Uh, you can even zoom in on the compare mode to see, you know, how much detail there is between the two. Because I used Aurora details, the Aurora version has got a lot more detail. This one, on the other hand, is much more natural looking. And I'll tell you a story. If you show the left one, the HDR natural one, to photographer, uh, and, and if you show these two photos to like 10 photographer, 80% of the professional photographer will prefer the left one because they don't like the HDR look. They don't like it because it's too easy, okay? But if you show the same two photos, to known photographers, they will pick the right one, the one from Aurora. And if I post on social media both of these photos, the one that will work the best will be the Aurora version. I know it's not natural looking, but that's just the way life is. You know, people love that look. So choose your weapon. You got two ways to do HDR. I'm giving you these three raw files. If you cannot fly to Yosemite to tunnel view the night of a nice sunset, well, you're in luck because if you subscribe to my website, I'm giving you this raw file so you can play around with it. I love this place. If you've never been to Yosemite, you should check it out. Now, if you like this, I just came up with a new course called HDR Quick Start. And what it is, is let me show you. First, we're gonna take these three photos from Zion National Park and using Aurora HDR and going much more detail in the software, we're gonna get this result. Then we're gonna do a crazy HDR panorama by first taking this photo, this photo, and this photo, which is a, a bracketing of Big Sur, and then the right side, another bracketing of Big Sur, and then we're gonna go into Lightroom and Lightroom only and do a panorama HDR. Check this out, only using Lightroom. Okay, but let's say you don't have, uh, you know, Aurora HDR, it's Mac only, but just so you know, it's coming out for Windows in like a couple of weeks, I think mid-September. Uh, I'm still, I'm gonna show you how you can use HDR FX Pro to take the three photos and turn it into this with a little bit of Photoshop. Uh, HDR FX Pro is a free HDR software from Google. Okay, but let's say you wanna do this in Photoshop. Well, I'm gonna take, this three exposures, and I'm gonna show you digital blending where I'm gonna take, you see that overexposed photo, the bottom of that photo, the top of that photo, to get this photo as a result, using Photoshop and Photoshop only. And I'm also gonna show you how to use Aurora HDR to take this photo and turn it into this photo with only one photo. It's a one photo HDR. So it's my HDR quick start. Check out the link is below this video. Mesdames et messieurs, hope you enjoy this. All right, mesdames and messieurs, I hope you're gonna check out my HDR Quick Start course and sign up to get the first one to get notified about Aurora HDR for Windows if you're a Windows user. And if you're not a Windows user, check it out. You can buy it and purchase it with the link under this video. 
You will love Aurora and you will love also doing natural HDR with Lightroom. Check out both. It's good to have all these weapons with you to get the best out of your photography. Happy shooting and I'll see you in another episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir. And don't forget to like this video if you do. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. It just takes a second and you get notification every time I come out with a free tutorial. It's amazing! See you in the next video.